Okay, so we're going to share a dream and then pull a couple cards to see what comes up. I got um, got Ganesha here with us. So we'll pull one from that deck. And I thought the unicorn, since that was right next to it, on top or underneath that deck. So I felt that fitting. Um, it's funny because I was... I, I'm not into like watching the big wigs who talk about all the aliens and blah blah blah. Um, I like people just have their own anyway. But Sarah Moulton, she's like, uh, has talked to a lot of the big wig like FBI people firsthand. Okay, so um, she was talking about one of these official dudes, and uh, he said, Sarah, you know. Uh, Unicorns are real. <laughs> so I'm just saying they probably have, you know, skeletons and stuff of all these, okay, all these, um, whatever, Freemason, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, dark, black, cabal, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so speaking of black cabal, um, <laughs> so I had a dream with my twin in it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, <laughs> Um, and it was interesting because, well, I say black ball and black water because my, uh, it was with my, wasn't with, but it was just like, kind of like we were in their apartment, like we were getting ready to do something, like have a little, little barbecue, little, just, um, my mom's household crew, which is her and my younger sister and her boyfriend, who is Nicaraguanian. Well, he's half American. His, his mom's. Nicaraguan, okay, but they, they say Nicaragüense, but Nicar, Agua, Nicar is dark or black, okay, and then Agua, water, okay, so the black water, the dark water, okay, of the, so that represents the womb, and so it's very interesting that he was there, but, but it makes, it makes sense, but, um, <clears throat> and then it makes sense that we're with just my mom, my sister, and that crew, because that's the womb, okay, the sacral chakra, Archangel Gabriel, me and my twin, okay, so, um, and it was real light, bright, it was, like, just kind of an apartment, like, their apartment, whatever, just kind of, like, just plain white walls and beige carpet, you know what I mean, like, a typical apartment, and really bright, I remember the light in, on in there was really bright, okay, like, you have the chandelier on and the kitchen light, all the lights on, okay, and I believe it was light outside too, but I said I had to go do something. And then all of a sudden I was like on this, um, like a boat in the water. And it had like this, kind of like a deck all the way around it, but didn't have like a railing or anything. Just kind of like a wooden, almost pathway, not even really a deck. And I remember I had to go like clean out a vacuum or something, but vacuum, void, the womb, okay. The ship, the water, the, okay, all this. And I can't remember if it was before I had to go do some work or when I came back, but you know that um, old school, like seventh grade slow dancing, you know, before you know how to do any, and I still don't know how to do any other dances, but <laughs> um, not together dances, you know, but I don't know, do the little spin and twirl and then you roll her up and then fling her out, like, you know, when you're kids, but. Basically, the only dance you know how to do when you're a kid, when you slow dance, yeah. So it was just me and my twin in the middle of the living room while people are getting food ready and this and that. Um, and I'm not even, I've never met my twin in the physical. We, uh, a f like, a few like video comments and then a big blow up and then <laughs> we've never emailed or anything like that. And I'm not even watching his videos right now and that, that's just because... I know what's happening. I don't need to be exposed. What like I don't need to expose myself to anything. I understand what's going on. And okay, so because I want to maintain that high vibe, the love, the anchor, that so it has nothing to do with um, anything else but that. So, and the reason I say this is because for those of you who if you're connected to your twin, have always been, never have you not been, and. It's almost like the less connected you are in the 3D, the more you're going to be connected in the spiritual realm 
And that's when we're that's where we're doing all the work. That's where we're really doing the mission work because we really have um, more range of movement, I guess you could say. <laughs> There's so much more constriction in the 3D. Um, well, you know, I don't even know how to qualify or quantify that. It's so hard for me to say more, less, probably, probably not. I, but it just feels more clear, unobstructed, um, the flow. I, I just feel more in my element, I guess, in my sleeping dream. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. I feel more comfortable in that realm. Okay, so... <clears throat> And it just felt really nice, just like that slow dance, you know, where you're just basically like you're just hugging, okay, but you're kind of doing that twirling around a little, but really slow, okay. So I just, it was one of those hugs where it's just like you're, hug, you're hugging the person you love so much, you could just feel your whole body, it, just both of your bodies as one, all the chakras align, all, it was just like, the breath was so, it just felt so, um, when you're, I don't know, just all those butterfly and love and romance feelings and, but good and true and of God and, um, like the best hug I've ever had. <laughs> like if you could hug yourself, like the way you hug is so great, but oh, if I could only hug myself like this, cause I'm such a good hugger, like that. <laughs> and that is what it is so so I'm that was interesting how Gabriel came in first to open me up for that and then the next two nights subsequently were with my twin so um yeah and the thing about the truck and it being white and truck trucks have truck bed and then there's usually in the cab, <laughs> cab, gab, <laughs> um, is two, right? The, the, unless you have three, but it's either two or three, okay? Cab, gab, and then there's the truck, bed, Deb, Deborah, Gebera. So trucks, um, very often, if you see, um, I can't even say very often, <laughs> For me, what when I now I know when I, um, cause, oh, big white trucks have been in my, before a TI stuff or anything like that. <laughs> big white trucks, maybe because my, my Kiva doggy was hit by a big white truck and I got big white trucks in my, but it was always angelic stuff. Um, yeah, the first time I remember it was like a really dark kind of guy quite a bit taller, slender. I remember he had like those soccer sandals on and his big white truck and he was, he was like, he was an angel driving me somewhere. <clears throat> and, um, and then it's maybe vehicles and stuff, maybe not so much a truck with like a soulmate that was felt more like a car, but I'm usually on the right. Yeah on the right side always. So, um, right brain, right, yeah. Um, so, and one, one dream, and I don't know if I reshared this, and I thought I was right on the money with the interpretation, but, and it, I felt like, well, am I being, I don't wanna be dishonest and be inaccurate, but th that's just how I felt is what it, it was my, soulmate coming in with the Pisces because we were at my friend's uh her you know family house in Roner Park and she's the Pisces uh and that I've known since sixth grade one of my besties and um and he said I have a family <laughs> but it that was my twin actually and physically what I saw in the dream was my twin but uh, maybe I just, I feel like I misinterpreted that, um, because there was both my soulmate and twin were both coming in in dreams and I was, I was like trying to, I'm like, angels, just 
to help me figure out what you're supposed to tell me, what I'm tr supposed to know here, okay? I don't get caught up in feelings. I just want to go with my guidance and be with the one that God is telling me to be with. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm clear now, but there was, I think a lot of people went there. There was like this wave of confusion. I think with all that moon energy, all those downloads from the full moon, is it, there was a lot of, and that happens with the moon. Um, but because, because everyone's on the moon highway, okay? Everybody's up there. So you're like, why is there, what are you doing here? Why are you showing up in my dream? And why? So, you know, I think that's what was happening. The Milky Moon Highway, everyone was just on it, <laughs> dealing with stuff. So, you know, um, but anyway, I wanted to share that dream and clarify that. And um, when I, I'm not going to find the link and put a blip. If you guys know what I'm talking about, my twins or whatever, I'm just clarifying because I don't like things being out there that I don't feel I was accurate on. So, um, so that dream before I went downstairs and my twin was there and my best, one of my besties and <clears throat> she wasn't saying anything, but my twin, um, was sitting down there. She was standing, he was sitting and they had like the, the range is like on a counter, if you can understand what I'm saying. Then they have like cupboards hanging down from the wall above where the the stove is. And um, so he was on one side, she was on the other. So it wasn't like, you know, there was no, yeah. <laughs> Which it isn't anyway, because this is all spiritual stuff. There's never any... Even if I've, like, I'm sitting on Gabriel's lap and stuff, these things, um, because I don't believe we're brides of Jesus. Everyone's a bride of Christ, bride of Christ, bride of Christ. I, I, I don't know. Unless you've had a dream where you, uh, but I feel like it's Gabriel. We're the bride of Gabriel because just think of it open, a br all the work that he's doing with the sacred, sh I just, I feel like he's the one, okay? That when we say bride of Christ, what we're really saying is bride of Gabriel. <laughs> and I'm thinking this Baal, when they say Baal, yeah, because there's the sweet, loving Jesus, and then there's the firing, purify in your face, Gabriel. Okay? And Baal in Hebrew means husband. Get on the ball, sister. <laughs> No, so, um, so it's just interesting how Gabriel came in and think, it's okay, so, with the dream, um, Gabriel, again, because before I went downstairs in that dream and my twin said, oh, I have a family, I, we were in bed, and I was on the right side, and he, he, yeah, so he was on the left, he was turned on his right side and had his left arm draped over me. Yeah. And it's, and then it's funny because I got up and went downstairs and it's like he was still in bed, but then when I got downstairs, he was down there. <laughs> so yeah. And it was just a flash of we we're laying in, just laying there both on our right sides, very like spread apart on a big bed and he just had his left arm like like you sleep sometimes like a, a couple wood or whatever just not all it's always been very uh, divine love okay when it's your twin it's always um very pure and true you can you just know it you feel it you know it so again deb or a uh, bed backwards is Deb, Deborah, G's or D's, Geborah. Okay, so um, trucks and beds, and trucks usually have beds, truck beds. Okay, <laughs> so um, those can be signs of Gabriel coming up in your dream. Okay, so um, pay attention to that, yo, if you got white trucks or if you're. Um, uh, beds in your dream. Okay, that's Archangel Gabriel <clears throat> coming in probably. Or maybe. I, you know, I'm just saying symbolically I'm starting to understand uh, what symbols 
uh, these universal symbols, okay? And when it comes to certain angels, like when hope came, that was outside, dark, under the moonlight, and uh, <coughs> she was at a brick fire, like a <coughs> um, barbecue, okay, like red bricks, fire, okay, <coughs> and um, that represents Gabriel, okay, the red, the fire, um, the oven, okay, uh, the barbecue, right, so... Um, was there, okay, that's all I wanted to talk about. Let's pull some cards. Okie dokie. So, uh, <laughs> it's funny because I was like, oh man, I get into ego sometimes, but the angels still respond because you're really, sometimes it feels like ego or something, but it's really from your heart. I was like, angels, what about me? What about me? Right? Um. <laughs> Because my son is acting up. I'm just like, um, this was like last week or something. I don't know. Um, and it's cool. Like my neighbor will work it out. But I just, I went into ego. But my, God keeps reminding me. Remember there was times where I let you slide with money. And you need to be patient. I put tribe around you. So you need to just, okay, understand. Because um, our ego wants to go, well. My neighbor owes me money for the pg and &E. But no, okay, so no, we're gonna, we, we understand what's happening down here. So this is what I'm saying. This is the battle that goes on in the head. Eagle wants to slip in and be like, um, care about money. Care about, no. <laughs> no, higher perspective. Ganesha perspective. Unicorn perspective. So, yeah. Let's just do the unicorns first since these are... Oh, there's a light here. Okay. Friendship and adventure. Because friendship was still on the bottom from the last one. There's adventure. So, that's what I want to do. I want to go to the Trinity Alps. The resort that my great-grandparents started. And um, go there with my twin. And just go have all those deja vu. I was... Uh, who knows, I could be my great-grandmother, you know? <laughs> I was three when my grandmother died. Um, but my grandmother was, my great-grandmother was named Anna. That's my um, dad's dad's mom. I don't think we knew... Um, Great grandmother on my, because she was adopted. My dad's mom. There was some weird shit there with. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Just weird uh, Nazi stuff in the family, SS officers, and this and that. I tried to get a clear answer about my grandmother and what. Because she was, you know, had the native blood. And uh, she was a doctor, so it was just weird stuff. Like, you know, what they did to the natives and stuff. But she was like, she was Jewish, but she had the Shoshone blood. Yeah, if you can see her, she looks straight up like a, um, <clears throat> that's what the natives look like. They look like the Hebrews. But, um, my great-grandmother, Anna from Austria, she had a sister who died as a baby 
whose name was Gretchen, and my name's Gretchen Anna. And this is her ring with the Edel, Edelweiss, um, the Austrian, made of Austrian flower, the flower of Austria. I believe it's a wild flower. Edel, Edel, um, who knows, maybe that means Gabriel. <laughs> Vice means wise. Weiss, vice, I think. So what unicorn wants to come out? So yeah, um, the Trinity Alps in Weaverville. And my last name is Weber, which means weaver. So it's just funny, of all places, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that'll be my inheritance. <laughs> Uh oh, that's funny I said that, <laughs> look what came out, <laughs> patience and intuition, <laughs> that's very much divine feminine energy, but it's applying to both, see, I feel like the right brain is now free flowing, it's accessing the left brain stuff that it needs, okay, um, because a couple little blips of a dream, one where I was just sitting with a like a girlfriend on the platform, just someone I didn't know, but interlocking hands, like little scamps do. I was on the left, she was on the right, because it was like, uh, being too much in my right brain. I need, I need to be in my left brain and have a friend who's in the right brain balance me out or whatever, something like, it was like left brain coming in for the feminine, okay? And then another little blip of a dream, I was in this like stairwell with this, um, you know, little, quite a bit older than me, maybe, you know, 20 years or so older than me. And she was like a little husky kind of, you know, and had like, she was a little bit shorter than me and had really short hair, um, kind of blondish red. And she's very light skin, probably a Nanunaki. But we were in the stairwell and this dream little vignette, little blip, it was very well lit. Okay, and I wanted to get over to the other side, but we couldn't get out. It was like kind of like the right side of the building, and, and I saw out of a window. I felt I was like I, I felt more comfortable to get over there to talk, and it was more the lights weren't off, on, but there was like some natural like dusk or dawn light light coming in. So, um, I just, I felt more comfortable. I wanted to get over there, but it was like we're on the left side stuck in the stairwell. And it was really bright light. It was like very left brain. Like the divine feminine is being forced into her masculine to balance out. Get out of the comfort zone. So if you're very much more in, comfortable on your left brain, okay, you're going to be forced into your right brain to, you know, expose yourself to right brain stuff. So you get over it and uh, get used to it and absorb it and balance out. So... For both the masculine and feminine. Intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. See, that's where your intuition, that's how you know stuff. When you say, I just know. I just know it. Because that's heart. I'm all heart, baby. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Yes. Because this is the left brain. It seems very right brain, right? But this is the tangible left brain. This is why we pull cards. Because we have dreams and all this stuff. But we're, our, our left brain's like, nah, let's confirm it. Let's pull a Bible verse. Let's gematria synchronicities with some other brothers and sisters in the circle out here. And then cards. And then, okay, now I feel good about it. <laughs> but this is what we, okay. So this is what we need to do. So the, the boys who are too into rightly dividing the word, you need to dream a little bit more and give a little bit more value to dreams. Okay, my dad's the same way. Oh, you don't dream because you don't value dreams. We need to start saying the things that we know we are and we can do and, we, and then watch that mani manifest, the power of the word. Mo man, mon, monifest. That's right. You're doing it with mother, with the womb, the tr trinity within it. Men and women, everyone has it. <clears throat> so really have patience so you can slow down and listen to the whispers of your heart so you can get these messages. Hello. Patience. Oh, it has to be so italicized, the words. 
Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Yeah. Yeah, have nice dreams about your twin and stuff like that. Just enjoy everything while you wait. The flowers are blue. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have like a big old... Maybe I'll take a picture and share some pictures. I'll do like a little... Um, a uh, like slideshow thing or something if you can still do that because <clears throat> YouTube was saying they're going to cut that out of the creator studio but then they didn't I don't know if that was just to me to like ah, we're not going to let you do them anymore <laughs> who knows whatever oh look what's on the bottom when those two came out past lives hello and goddess oh my wow she even has look at this she has the horn actually coming out of her, and there's two. So this is kind of like a trinity. So there's two unicorns, okay, down there, and then her. So it's like the, the power of the two and the one come together. It's a trinity. Let's see all that violet and white. Very high, super high, highest vibration. Goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Honor your divine feminine energy. Okay, patience. This is one of those high virtues of mother, okay? And it's going to help you with your intuition, okay? Both masculine and feminine. Honor your feminine energy. Past lives. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Divine feminine wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. That's right. So be patient with the healing process. The more patient we are, the higher a vibration that we can hold during this time as we're healing, okay? Um, you have to say, do conversations in your head. You can do cord releasing ceremony i just sit there and i just have a conversation with someone in my head okay like when i'm meditating before i go to sleep and laying in bed or you know sometimes i'm in the living room laying down whatever um after my son's in bed so i can have that time to myself and i just have a con conversation with that person and just imagine what they would say back to you and then you have your response and then you, you have your closure and your catharsis and you release them and you let them go and um, now it's only my twin coming in, not my karmic anymore. And so, and that comes from you being patient with yourself and slowing down so you can listen, okay, to what your dreams are telling you about past lives, all that stuff. So, and what was on the top again? Oh, yeah, goddess, <laughs> of course. Yeah, goddesses have been coming in, right? Because they're helping us. So, we got, we're getting dragon. The serpent rising, mother. Um, yeah, so Mother Mary, um, dragon energy, goddess, goddess O. So starting off with blessings and fulfillment. So. Two cards, huh, for the, uh, unicorn, unicorns. Okay, let's see what we got for, uh, Ganesha here. Just one, please, but we have delight, joy, and concentration yeah concentrate on what delights you what brings you joy that's what's going to keep your vibration high it's going to help you anchor those higher vibration of higher uh, virtues of like patience and stuff and um help you access your gifts and tune into your intuition slowing down that patience okay 
Listening to yourself more. Listen, listen to your body. Monitor your thoughts. Um, flow through your emotions and feel them. Don't be so impatient with your emotions. Anger comes in. Let yourself. Don't don't be so quick to get rid of it. Flow through it. See what's happening. Okay. Concentration. Decisions be candid, childlike expression. So concentration came out again. Inner knowing, generosity. Let's see if we get one more here. So that came out twice, concentration. So yeah, sometimes just focusing on the most distant point in the room and just focusing your eyes on that. Just concentrating on that one spot. And the only thing you're focusing on and concentrating on is keeping your eyes focused on that dot. And not letting them wander or go out of focus. And try to keep that point. Just try to keep that. Keep that center. Keep that focus. It's not that easy. <laughs> You know, try to do that. Stare at one point and a, a, a movement in the room, like outside the window, makes your makes your eyes go over the way. It's not that easy. <laughs> so concentration. So yeah, meditating, concentrating, focusing on these higher virtues, anchoring in that divine feminine wisdom. Childlike expression, joy. You know, it's not just like these heavy things like having to be patient and all these downloads from intuition. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm dizzy. Um, other things were getting downloaded from Mother too that are these, the joy, the delight. Oh, yeah, that came out. Delight. Hepzibah. <laughs> Delight, childlike expression, joy, laughter. Oh, when I was at the Dollar Tree, they had two there. It was like this black, like plastic thing with a mirror in the back, and it had it said laugh and had a cute little like. Okay. Okay, so thirty six reduces to nine. Ooh, look at that! All the emerald and gold and some blue i'm getting Raphael and mikael <clears throat> healing so the protective energy of okay that indigo blue is michael and the green and the gold is jesus okay Raphael, ea anki whatever uh, Ganesha, okay, <laughs> back when they were gods, okay, the Indian gods, okay, that's Jesus, that's how I feel, I feel like Ganesha holds the, that energy, that same energy of Buddha, Jesus, okay, the same, now, reincarnations, I believe, of the same, I believe that Jesus and Gabriel incarnate, that's just how I feel. Because they're the two, they're the wingmen, they're the... I feel they both incarnate in the flesh and that John the Baptist is Gabriel. Okay, he's the fire of the word. So he brings the fire and John is Eber. Okay, all these forms of this name, Gabriel. You can check that for yourself. So the healing... And I also see like these clouds in the background, like all this sun coming in and clearing out all these clouds. So you're get, getting all illuminated and clearing out and see it's like the eye, the peacock. It's kind of like God coming in and like raining down all this healing, pouring all this healing energy onto you. So let's just see what we're going to read the whole thing. But um, so concentration on healing. So concentrate on healing. 
So this is the throat chakra here. Be candid, 25, or yeah, 25, that's five fives. Be candid. Oh, isn't that kind of the same thing? Yeah, and openness, and see how he's on a moon? Open, Abrer, Gabriel, 18, reduces to nine, nine months pregnant, the womb, so, oh, openness, oh my gosh, hello. So, concentrating on healing, it's going to allow you to be more yourself, more open, flowing, candid, just allowing you to be you, <laughs> I opened up to clear your energy card. Oh, and wait a second. <laughs> Is this 36? No way. Okay, so that's 6 times 6. And 25 is 5, 5, so it's Gabriel. This reduces to 9. 36 reduces to 9, okay? Then we have 9. And then 18 is 2 9s. That also reduces to 9, openness. And that's the Gabriel. <laughs> And then this is seven, which is the guiding, one of the guiding forces, which Gabriel is, okay, the breath of life, but it's also five times five. So we got six times six, we got five times five, and then we got all these nines. And then 25 reduces to seven, so. Hello, Gabriel, always. <laughs> and the moon, okay, and then uh, intuition, patience. So, yeah, he, you know, the reason why we go through Gabriel first is because we have to raise our vibration and purify, come from a pure place of heart so that we have pure intention. And when we do that, now we have the highest vibration. Now we can manifest. So it's very important that we go through this process with Gabriel to get to the place where now you can receive that he works with the moon, the sacral chakra, the mother, okay? Protects the mother, protects, okay, his brides. So it's very important to allow your to be patient, allow yourself to go through this process because now you're going to use all these tools for your manifesting now in Aries and Malkuth with Uriel, Ariel with Rainbow Aurora, Lady Grace, okay, which Grace, five, that's the number of Gabriel. So they, they work very, all the angels do, but right now this is what's happening, okay, the purifying, this process with Gabriel, and a, a lot of, like, inflammation and stuff that was happening, that's like the fire, Gabriel, burning out all the impurities, but Jesus, Raphael, needs to bring the water so you don't fry. It's just like when you make cannabis oil or something. The water is in there so it doesn't go beyond, I think it's 222, 221. Yeah, that's funny, right? Uh, degree. So, so it always stays at a boiling the boiling temperature of water because oil can get much hotter than that. So you have the water in there. It keeps it at that temperature. It maintains that temperature. So with the... So Raphael and Gabriel, so he's purifying. You got to use fire to do that. But so you don't die, <laughs> Jesus brings the water, okay? Um, so that's what's happening with inflammation, okay? Trust, you gotta trust in the process. Oh, hooey. So, um,. Is there something else I was going to... Now I lost my... Um, clearing your energy. Yeah, it's important with the prep work. Because... Oh, yeah, the manifesting. So we have to have pure intention. How do we have pure intention? From being in our heart. In our heart. How do we get in our heart? Well, we have to heal. And we have to be patient. Okay? And use your intuition for... Because this is spiritual healing. Okay? So our intuition is going to tell us... That, okay... You're just going to know when you go into the grocery store, the blueberries are going to be calling you. So you got, okay. Or you're going to be called to fast. Nothing, 
even if you're hungry, nothing sounds good because you're supposed to be fasting that day or you're just thirsty all you want because you need to hydrate. Okay. So slowing down and being patient, listening to those quiet voices of the heart, of the body, of the spirit, of the angels, of your little, you know, nature friends, okay, the mouse. Represents playfulness, okay? But he needs to concentrate. But this card also says to get out and play, okay? And that's why the mouse is there. That represents friendship, okay? Playfulness. <clears throat> so some, so the left brain, okay? Sometimes the right brain's calling and saying, okay, get out you're you're doing too much see how the purple and gold is like attached to his head those archways it's like okay live too much crown you got to go ground it into the earth because this is like being like just oh on the mountaintop oh okay no you got to go you're here on the earth so that means you're the bodhisattva that means you need to go apply it anchor it into the earth apply it implement it help humanity okay the earth help the earth the animals okay so that's the playful part of it. And you think, oh, you're not doing any work when you're playing. Yes, you are. You're anchoring that energy into the ground, especially if you're running around barefoot outside while you're playing. Yes. Oh, so. Oh, my openness <laughs> and inner knowing. I went too far. Openness and inner knowing. I think I was going to 19 or 18, I think, but I meant to go to 9. So concentration. Oh, these are pretty short. Okay. Well, I, was, I was thinking they were longer. I haven't pulled this deck for a while. Maybe that's why. Utilize the tools, resources, and skills that are available to you. Okay. And that's woodpecker energy. Resourcefulness. Resourcefulness. <laughs> oh, and this is on page 27, which reduces to nine. Okay. And 27 is three nines. Ganesha will support you with inspired ways to solve problems. You can benefit from inventive forces if you can maintain your power and work with awareness and focus. Act consciously with the understanding that applied effort will get you what you want. Know what you are doing and why you are doing it. I love that black on white I, and it's like regular print, not all italicized. I, I can read it. <laughs> You need to be focused on a single objective or purpose at this time. You are asked to channel all of your energy, tools, and wherewithal toward this one goal. Commit to the task and eliminate distractions that will take your attention away from what you are trying to realize. Take the time to research other avenues or possible solutions. Keep a practical approach and work at a steady pace. Yeah, steady pace. Steady right wins the race something like that <laughs> remain as objective as possible right just try to be the observer as, as much as possible and that way you can observe yourself consider how you can better interact with the people in your life it is important to remember to treat others the way you would like to be treated and this is the golden rule and that's why god kept telling me five and it's this thing i was watching um I think I did a video because the numbers were something and it was about full disclosure and he said um, the golden rule and it just went ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so God sets you up to phi ratio, the golden rule. I'm like, okay, why are you, why are you telling me the golden ratio? Um... And I know the golden the golden rule. I mean, I've known that since whatever, since school, right? Grade school. So that's, and that's what I was saying yesterday. I'm like, when he said that, I'm like, yeah, that's all it's about. It's not about black, white, alien, this, that. It's about the golden rule. Do others as you'd have done unto you. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. Okay, that's, that's biblical. That's straight from God. <clears throat> straight from the most high gold 22 harmony 30 priorities that's right 33 guidance <laughs> 38 nurture 
35, personal transformation. Can we get a 36, please? Can we get a 36 up in here? We go. Ooh, cultivation is the next one. Okay, so healing, 36. And this is on page 64, which is 10, so 9, 10. Nice, good order. The true essence of your soul is one of complete health. That's right. Complete health, balance in the heart, okay? And you're protected. That's why um, my Stellar's J's um, keep coming in. And it's like the woodpecker's like, you know, just share whatever, okay? Because that represents prophecy. So just share whatever God has put on your spirit to share. And don't worry, you're protected. Because I'm like, I just, I don't want my, I just don't like the metal mosquitoes and bothering me. And they're like, hey, you're protected. <laughs> So don't even worry about it. Like, they ain't got nothing on you. They got guns. They got helicopters. They got this. And they ain't got nothing on you. Because you're protected from the Most High God. You are a child of God. A golden child. A golden seed of God. Okay, we have the right to be here on this planet. The ones who have incarnated in human form with the heart of the earth. Created by God from the dirt. Or we could be hybrid because... We made it, they made it with their Frankenstein. So okay, what, what, I mean, come on, we're, we're created in their image and they're so hot so they couldn't help themselves. Um, <laughs> really like that whole story of narcissus, uh, narcissus or what, no, just kidding. No, no, the angels are great. They're awesome. <laughs> so I don't know. I just went off there, but, um, <laughs> Ganesha is pictured sitting on a peacock. Peacock feathers have been used in curative remedies for thousands of years and across countless traditional cultures. In doesn't seem like it fits right there, but anyway, <laughs> they are said to carry. They are said to carry spiritual, medicinal energy. That can assist people seeking balance and healing in their lives. Yeah, my mom used to have peacock feathers. And um, she also had a tapestry that had peacock feathered, like a velvety and different colors. It had like a peacock feathers on it, I believe. But she had actual peacock feathers. My dad's friend had an actual peacock. Um, we went out there a couple times. He had a goat. That rammed me in the butt the other little kid, his niece or something. He's like, be careful, don't... She's like, be careful, don't turn your back on that goat. It'll get you. <laughs> it did. Rammed me right in the butt. It hurt, too. I mean, it was it just with the head, you know. It wasn't like... Didn't even really have that big of horns. But it was just, boom, like, enough to kind of whip whiplash your neck a little bit. And I turned around and I looked at that goat. And it was like, I saw myself. <laughs> But, um, peacocks, yeah, they make a cool, uh, where'd my arrow go? Because it just went black there. They make a cool call. And, um, yeah, so the males have, he had a male. Really beautiful when they fan their tail all up and stuff. So it was cool. He had a peacock out there on his property, but, and a goat, and yeah. <laughs> Dogs and stuff, yeah. So, anyway. So healing, I'm just saying animals, okay. Um, medicinal energy consists of people, uh, so they are said to carry spiritual medicinal energy. The challenges of daily life can throw you out of balance with the truth of your being. It is easy to get caught up in the daily grind and in general feeling, and in a general feeling of lack. That's the lie, though. We got to remove ourselves from the matrix, okay? Remember that you were created from the perfection of divine light and love. Remember that you were created from the perfection of divine light and love. Remember that you were created from the perfection of divine light and love. All right, moving on to the next set sentence. If I can get it anything else out. <laughs> your physical body is simply a shell that covers your soul. True healing is only possible when you take responsibility for your own well-being on this earth and your self-empowerment. 
See yourself as complete, healthy, and whole. Ganesha prompts you to believe that you truly are capable of handling any matters of health or relationships without blame and with integrity and grace. Oh! Grace! Hello. Okay, we're done. Gabriel, Grace. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Grace is the thing that unites Gabriel with Malkuth, with, with Ariel, because Lady Grace is Ariel's Archaea. Rainbow Aurora is Lady Grace. But five is Gabriel's number, which represents Grace. So, see, they're like, it's like the pass-off now. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, Gabriel coming, I mean, uh, Michael comes back in. Okay, now that all this healing, now we can manifest. Now, we, now Michael comes back in. Okay. He comes in when you get passed off from... <laughs> From Jesus, from Raphael to Gabriel, Michael comes in to let you know because that's like just to let you know to prepare you mentally that you're protected because you're gonna go through some fire. And now it's time for Gabriel to pass you off all of this, getting in you into your heart, clearing out okay the sacral chakra where you know we hold a lot of all our pain and past life, all this okay past life, and so. After that gets all cleared out and healed, now we can be in our heart, balance, high vibration, pure intention. Now we manifest like demons, but you know, harm, harmons, yeah, harmons. Because <laughs> of the heart, the harmony, the heart song. So, so that's what we're concentrating on now, manifesting, okay? But get out and play too. That's how we anchor that all this higher knowledge, divine feminine wisdom, okay, through the heart into the earth, okay, comes into the crown. We're balanced in our heart, so we can receive the messages from the crown loud and clear because we're balanced in our heart where we have clear access to all chakras equidistance from the heart. It's like center baseline when you're playing tennis you got to get back to center ba baseline so you have equ so equidistance all part of the court all parts of the court on the tennis court are equidistance from where you are so that's the best vantage point that's the best place to be where you have the best access to everything so best access to yourself and then we go out and play that's part of the job too okay we have to remember that okay that, um, yes, we are doing work when you're <laughs> going back and forth with your son all day. You feel like you got nothing accomplished. Yes, you did. You practiced discipline that day. You helped him to practice self-control. You helped, okay, you, <laughs> you um, showed yourself love and patience and kindness by realizing, hey, my energies are being too influenced by what's going on with you. We need to adjust something here okay if you have to live in a household together you got to be respectful of people's energies you need to okay so that's what i felt like i did all day yesterday i'm like ego's going did i even accomplish anything and spirit's going yes okay if you dusted your house you accomplished more than just getting your house clean it brings a sense of relief in your mind it it makes your body feel more expansive. It does a lot. Okay, so it's, there's all these different aspects are happening when we're just cleaning our house or just taking a bath or just going on a walk or just playing or, or um, even if anger comes up, okay, we're healing that. It brings more self-empowerment because it allows us to be more in our heart more of the time where we have access to all our intuition, our gifts, um, our, our diligence, Okay, our, our strength, our fortitude to concentrate and do something for a long period of time and not having, um, you know, um, just, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, really impatience with yourself. You have to have patience in order to concentrate. So intuition, patience, healing, and concentration. 
Those are the words of the day. I love you all. Peace and blessings.